I'm Allie Howard. I'm Kelsey Tuterek. I'm Jenna Frank. We, we are, are the Girl Scouts, Scouts of Troop 10297. In 2008 and 2009, we worked with Children First on a community art project. We wanted to spread the message about the importance of building the 40 developmental assets. These are character building traits for all young people. We contacted 40 local organizations. We asked them each to paint a canvas depicting one of the 40 assets. We were amazed at their beautiful and diverse paintings. A poster and note cards were created of the project. The art is also on the 2009-2010 St. Louis Park City School Calendar. We earned the Girl Scout Silver Award for this project. The 40 assets are important. Kids who have lots of them do better in school, volunteer in the community, and live healthier lifestyles. The more assets, the better. The project was a great way to increase awareness. Awareness of the assets in the organizations that participated, and awareness in the wider community. The original paintings have been displayed at Starbucks, Park Nicollet Clinic, and the new West End Development. David Fitzgerald is an artist who created this painting about family support. He was asked to do this by St. Louis Park Community Education's Creative Play Program. His daughter Margaret is in the program. He also has a school-age daughter, Catherine. Park Nicollet Foundation is a founding partner of the Children First Initiative. Angela Bernhardt from the foundation created this painting with her school-aged children, Kate, John, and Hank. The painting depicts positive family communication. The artists were inspired by the Club Penguin website. Ajin Mafalun Gude painted this for asset number three, other adult relationships. Lajid immigrated here from Tanzania. He drives bus for the St. Louis Park Transportation Company. He is also a musician. The Elmwood Neighborhood Association provided this canvas about Cary Neighborhood. It is actually silk screened. The father-daughter team of Brian and Emily Billadu created this piece of art. Emily is in eighth grade. Sam Soul painted this magnificent unicorn. The painting depicts caring school climate. Sam works for Youth Frontiers. Youth Frontiers does retreats with students that focus on positive school environments. Heim Klein from St. Louis Park High School's 912 program created this painting. He has been an acrylic painter since middle school. The painting portrays asset number six, how a parent is part of the life in a child in school. Professional artist William Hessian offered his talents to paint this on behalf of our community celebration, Parktacular. The painting depicts asset number seven, Community Values Youth. William grew up in St. Louis Park. Malcolm Adams painted this during his senior year. Asset number eight is Youth as Resources. Malcolm was involved in Boys to Men, a student group at St. Louis Park High School. He is also an accomplished musician. Twenty-five members of the Youth Development Committee collaborated on this painting. Students involved are in 4th through 12th grades. The painting is about service to others. The tree branches are made up of members' handprints showing all can serve. The leaves are members' thumbprints representing growth. Firefighter Nikki Tippo painted this for the St. Louis Park Fire Department. Nikki's painting portrays safety in the classroom with Sparky the fire dog educating students, safety at home with family members checking a smoke detector, and safety in the community with a boy doing a fire drill. Cooper Marson and Parker Hansford created this painting with the input from their classmates at the whole learning school. 
The students represented family boundaries with a stoplight and a stop sign. Cooper is 9 and Parker is 10. Bruce Richardson illustrated this painting about school boundaries. Bruce has been on the St. Louis Park School Board for seven years and is past chair of the board. Bruce's grandfather was an artist and Bruce painted with him in Rhode Island. This painting is truly a neighborhood affair. Marielle Clavercamp, Allison Kramer, Sarah Young, and Ann Mavity enlisted the help of their neighbors in the Minicata Vista neighborhood. Children's thumbprints form the bodies of people in the middle of the painting. Adult thumbprints form the people in the outside circle. The circle represents how adults nurture and set boundaries for neighborhood kids. Nancy Kleber is a member of the St. Louis Park League of Women Voters. Her painting is about adult role models. It symbolizes how adults can inspire children about life's possibilities. Nancy says that her formal art training began and ended in first grade, but her love of art is ongoing. Darren Gordon owns Dancing Flame Artwork and Design and created this for the Twin West Chamber of Commerce St. Louis Park Business Council. The shooting stars symbolize all the accomplishments and milestones we achieve as we grow. The silhouette of the children and a mentor are running to a bright future. The blue and green landscape depicts a solid foundation. The bright shining sun image represents the rewards of positive peer influence. Naturalist Emily Hansen painted this about high expectations for Westwood Hills Nature Center. A red-tailed hawk soaring freely and high above the treetops represents an encouragement. It inspires children to do great things. Fellow naturalist Jessica Hegna sketched the picture. Michael Peters painting about creative activities was made on behalf of the St. Louis Park Friends of the Arts. One art class at St. Louis Park High School and one sculpture class at the University of Minnesota are the extent of his formal training. The Impressionist and Post-Impressionist artists influenced his work. Crystal Doyle made this collage about youth programs for the St. Louis Park Soccer Association. Crystal has a daughter on the St. Louis Park High School soccer team and a son who graduated from Park in 2007. Crystal studied fine art at several colleges. She returned to school as an adult to earn a degree in interior design. Linnea Roki Partain is a member of Aldersgate United Methodist Church's youth group. The symbols in the painting represent various religious traditions and the asset religious community. Linnea takes art classes. She won second place at the Minnesota State Fair for a pencil drawing of a fox. Michael Peters was asked by the City Council to paint the asset Time at Home. Like the Parktacular Committee, the City Council appreciated Michael sharing his talents. Michael usually paints with oils, so using quick drying acrylics was a delightful challenge. Maria Fly Shocker is a 2009 graduate of Benilde St. Margaret's High School. The high school graduate portrayed here represents the asset of achievement motivation. Maria is a self-taught painter. She received help from some of her art teachers over the years. Maria is now a student at the Art Institute's International Studying Graphic Design. Four students from Aquila Primary Center collaborated to create this painting about school engagement. Casey Cry, Madeline Johnson, Sammy Ma To, and Ella Thomas wanted to show how they are engaged in learning. The four students were selected to paint for Aquila because their teachers recognized their artistic sparks. John Reese worked with young people from the Meadowbrook Collaborative to create this painting about the asset, Homework. They were excited to honor some of the people who helped them with the after-school tutoring. 
John is a lifelong resident of St. Louis Park and a volunteer at Meadowbrook. He is an artist of diverse media. Brittany Oquist, who graduated from St. Louis Park High School in the spring, created this painting about bonding to school. Brittany was a member of the Day One initiative at the high school. Her painting depicts a young person bonding to school as a teen's hand connects with the wing of an Oreo, which is the school mascot. Fran Addington created this painting of reading for pleasure. She works part-time at the St. Louis Park Library. Fran used a photo of the Youth Services Librarian reading to children as the basis for this painting. It is surrounded by characters from children's books. Art runs in her family. Fran's grandson participated in the project, Painting for Byerleys. Fine artist, photographer, and graphic designer. That describes Mark Hiltner. He depicted the asset caring on this canvas. Mark works for Nordicware. He used a bright color for the caregiver and a neutral color for the care receiver. The two colors are blended in the word, word caring. This expresses that both receive equal reward for an act of kindness. Eight-year-old Greta Long painted this picture with her two younger sisters, Audrey and Fiona. Greta has volunteered at STEP for more than two years. STEP is the St. Louis Park Emergency Program. They painted about equality and social justice. The inspiration for the painting was showing helping hands. The artist's, gonna go again. The artist's wish everybody in the world had love, a home, good food, and education. St. Louis Park Rotary member Breck Fleeson created this canvas symbolizing the asset integrity. Breck owns Park Coin and is a metal sculptor. The painting is connected to Rotary's philosophy of truth, fairness, friendship, and goodwill. The Children First initiative was started out of the St. Louis Park Rotary Club. Lawrence Spiegel immediately thought of Honest Abe when he knew he would be painting the asset Honesty. Lori teaches watercolor and acrylic classes for the Lennox Senior Program. He created this picture on behalf of the Senior Program. Lori has lived in St. Louis Park for more than 50 years. Jennifer Brownlee from AAA Minneapolis painted the asset Responsibility. Jennifer's painting recognizes the importance of all the young people who are part of the School Safety Patrol Program. AAA has sponsored the School Patrol Program since 1928. Dr. Mary Wagner had never painted before this project. She learned to paint by consulting an online source. She is the volunteer medical director for Central Clinic. The clinic offers free health care for St. Louis Park kids. She is also a family practice doctor for Park Nicollet. Her painting is about the asset restraint. Like flowers, young people need time to develop in a thriving environment. Nikki Bricks works at Citizens Independent Bank. She shared her vision of the asset planning and decision making. A child's aspirations usually start with daydreaming. This girl is thinking about school, learning, and saving for the future. Nikki likes to paint. She usually creates abstract art with acrylic paints. Andrew Dobin and Aiden Smith work part-time at Byerly's as captains in the parcel pickup area. Both teenagers are trained artists. Andrew and Aiden depicted the asset interpersonal competence. They focused on communications and teamwork. The puzzle pieces represent all of us building a better, more peaceful world. This painting was created by 7th and 8th grade students at St. Louis Park Junior High. They are all English language learners in Mrs. Schlatterbeck's class. The asset